There are 8.5 million dogs in the UK. In total, 41% of people who bought a puppy did not see the mother and a further 53% did not see its breeding environment, meaning those puppies are highly likely to have been bred by a puppy farmer and sold by third parties. 20% of puppies brought from pet shops or directly from the internet suffer from parvovirus, an often fatal disease that can cost up to £4,000 to treat. I went to speak to Sarah College, a dog owner who knows a lot on the topic. Have you ever personally been approached by a puppy breeder? No, but when I bought my previous Labrador back in 1999, when I went to their house to have a look at this puppy, there were six puppies, supposedly from the same litter, but I could tell, tell instantly they weren't from the same litter because they all looked different and you can always Puppies that are from the same parentage normally look very similar. Um, also, these puppies didn't like to be handled. They were very fat and bloated, which mean, meant that they hadn't been wormed. And when you picked them up to stroke them, they just, you know, fidgeted it and didn't like to be touched. And that was the sort of warning signs to me that they were but maybe potentially puppy farmed. It's heartbreaking because you see these cute Labrador puppies and you just want to rescue them, but the problem is if people then buy them, you're just feeding the trade. So I followed my head rather than my heart and I left. And then when I got home and looked at the adverts, this same breeder was advertising about four or five different breeds. So on regards to that question, how can you see if a puppy has been bred illegally? Well, it's, it's how the people that are selling them interact with you. So if they're a legitimate breeder, they will be concerned as to where that puppy's going. They'll want to know, is that puppy going to be fed and watered properly? Is it going to be looked after from their health perspective? You know, how long is that puppy going to be left on their own? You know, have, have you experience of having dogs, you know, in the past? The breeder will be interested in where that, you know, the home that that puppy's going to. If the breeder doesn't really care and they turn around and say, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll meet you on the M25 on the hard shoulder at Junction 6, that gives you warning bells. If the breeder says, you know, we don't have the mother anymore, we can't show you the mother, that would set warning signals. They should know the history of the, of the bitch and the stud dog. If they don't, again, that's warning signals. You know, we do have dogs that get together with dogs when they're out walking and then you can end up with a pregnancy you know or stray dogs that's just a, you know things that happen and it can't be helped but people that are you know breeding dogs intentionally to make money has a detrimental effect the plans to tighten up laws around selling pets and breeding dogs will make it completely illegal to sell puppies younger than eight weeks old and require anyone breeding and selling three or more litters of puppies a year to apply for a formal licence. Irresponsible breeders who don't stick to these rules face an unlimited fine and or up to six months in prison. What can people at home do to stop illegal puppy breeding? Well, they can make sure that they see the puppies in the home. They ask to see the mother. They should be able to see the puppy with the bitch because puppies shouldn't really leave the mother before they're at least eight weeks old because, you know, they haven't interacted. They haven't had the mother's milk. So if you go to see a puppy and they say he's five weeks old, they shouldn't be leaving their mother that young. Why has England as a country done to stop illegal puppy breeding? Well, just recently they've, um, they're in the process, I believe, of setting up a law to say that you can't buy puppies um, from a pet shop. That's a new thing they're trying to bring in at the moment to stop pet shop puppy breeding. Um, I think they're trying to make it illegal to buy puppies off the side of a road. You have to go to either a reputable breeder with a kennel club or somebody who's advertised and is not doing it for the money but doing it for, you know, because their bitch has got pregnant. What are your views on illegal puppy breeding? Well, I think it's disgusting. You know, 
um, people who breed their bitches time and time and time again over the years purely to make money from the litters of puppies are just in it for the money they, they don't care about the welfare of the, 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 the mother they're not they don't care about the welfare of the puppies they're just doing it for money you know they transport them from Ireland to this country there's a lot of um, people that have stable blocks full of different breeds of bit dogs and you know these animals are kept in a really bad conditions hardly any of them have good food or water or access to it you know when they're poorly or they're ill they don't get the medical treatment they need and the whole welfare and well-being of these animals is at the bottom of the list all these people are interested in are making money out of the puppies because they sell for th hundreds and thousands of pounds what effect does an illegal puppy bred dog have on the owner? Well, the effect on the owner is that we get attached to these puppies really quickly, you bond with them, and because these puppies normally don't have their inoculations, so they haven't had inoculations against parvovirus or kennel cough, they end up getting very poorly, and a lot of the time these puppies end up going to the vets and they end up dying because they haven't had the vaccinations that they need to have as a young puppy. You know, that's heartbreaking for the family, it's heartbreaking for the owner. You know, nobody goes out to buy a puppy with the intention of it dying two or three weeks or months later. You know, it's hard enough when they get to a ripe old age of 10 or 12 and they end up passing away. But um, to have a cute little puppy pass away because of the way it's been bred and ill-treated is, is absolutely devastating. And the trouble is with all this inbreeding and puppy farmed animals, you don't know the, the breed history, you don't know the genetics of these animals and if a dog ends up being bred and bred and bred, you know, a bitch, they can have hip problems, they can have intest in, in test, in, you know, intestinal problems, they can have eye problems, they can have a multitude of complications. We can see that changes are being made. On the 2nd of February 2017, a petition for the sale of puppies under the age of eight weeks old is to be made illegal. Theresa May has signed it herself.